Hello and welcome to How to Play Star Wars Galaxies episode 25. Today we're going to be taking a look at reverse engineering for stat mods. These are reverse engineering mods that are only in, in clothing and armor, things like this, and jewelry, that kind of, that kind of thing. Um, these are ones that players make themselves. I'm going to be taking you through a little bit of a walkthrough on what you need and, and explain to you on what you have to do to make these good mods, but I'm not going to walk you. No, we're not going to walk through the whole thing, the whole process here, because it can take a little while. So, what you need to start off with is a uh, a, a stat item. Now, I keep a, a stock in here of a multi stat, but they'll uh, they'll do they'll do for these purposes. All right, so here's a good one. It has it has three, but that's not a big deal. You want to start off with something that has a reasonably high uh, mod on it. You want to, you know, I like to start with something at least with a 20 on it. Um, higher the better, the, the least. Um, less trouble it's going to give you later on. So, you have to have the uh, item, you have to have your uh, your engine, your um, crafter, your trader has to be a uh, an engineer, a, um, a, a domestic or a munitions trader and those will allow them to make the three types of mods they can do. Uh, if you are shipwright, that kind of one, architect, um, you cannot make these mods because they have their own reverse engineering that is for uh, spaceship components. So you want to also look for a uh, reverse engineering tool, and I would definitely recommend getting one that has an exper experimentation bonus of 10.0. That's the max it can have. Get that as your baseline to start with. Uh, while you are, and when you are starting out, if you can afford to buy the modifications for your clothing to help in reverse engineering, I would do so. If you can purchase power-ups for that, you can do so as well. Uh, power-ups will possibly say um, that they have that they have reverse engineering on them. You can find these on the Bazaar terminal or look for the stat mod the the mod search on the Bazaar that says what what they do. And as here you can see a power up. Um, this one has eleven. Um, Ten and eleven are the highest you can get. Um, just keep in mind eleven either really hard to make or really expensive. Um, however I did make these myself. And you can find your reverse engineering mod in the character sheet under skill mods. Um, under here, reverse engineering chance, and your chance can be pretty high. Now, don't worry about having it extremely high starting off. If you're starting off, that's what that's where you are. You're beginning. So, take your tool, take your item, put it in the tool, then right click on it, and say, "I want to reverse engineer it." Now this gives you the item. You'll notice it went from a 20 to a 25. My skill is kind of high, so I increased what it was. And it became a second power power order. Um, there are first, second, and third. Those are critical to know because that is how you actually make in the items the three different ones. Because when you're making these, you have to have a first order, a second, and a third. You cannot just use three first or three seconds or a mixture. You have to have first, second, and third and you must do them in that order when you put them together otherwise you will mess the mod up and you can know you cannot make a third one into it so you have that bit the next thing you're going to need is some junk and i would also recommend keeping all the junk you get or if you have the money go out and buy you a stockpile because i did that a long time ago and it's coming very handy so i'm going to just pick me up a couple of random pieces most of the time it does not matter from the random stuff you can go ahead and throw the whole thing in there and we're going to uh, reverse engineer that and we got a modifier now these are the two key components that you will need to uh, to actually make a a, a C that you want for uh, for your your clothing but now so if you put the if I was just to put both of these pieces in there and if I right clicked on it and said create a skill enhancing attachment a, a C which is SEA that would actually make a, a little attachment that if I draw, dragged it on top of a, of a piece of clothing or armor, the, like these boots that have a socket available, one socket, that whatever amount of stats are in that C, if I dropped it onto that piece of clothing or something or armor, would take up that socket and then if it's one, two, or three mods in there, would it then go into that piece of clothing. Now, if you put in a stat mod that has one mod on it, like say if I made this one mod here, dropped it in there, that clothing would always have that one mod unless I removed it. If I remove it, I lose the stat mod. 
that's the prize. You either the only options you have are either losing the stat mod or destroying the article and retaining one of the mods. Fortunately, that's all you can do. But it's better than nothing, and then it just having to scrap it or not use it. So, but now if I'm not done with this, I want to say I want to get this up to a 35. Then what you do is you put these in here. You say make skill enhancing attachment. Then you want to make, depending on your profession, so for example, I'm a domestic trader, so I have made a stockpile of very cheap clothing that have sockets in them, and, and you can sometimes purchase these, sometimes people, people sell these items, and then I drag the item into the, into the piece of clothing, I say yes, now if you'll notice, I went from one socket to the precision of 25 in there. Now I'm going to drag this back in here, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to reverse engineer. Now this may not increase this stat because my I've, I have not taken all the buffs and the mods that I need for this but it could possibly do it. And you see it did. It went to a plus 26. This process is the actual process you go through to reaching 35. Now going from you know 20 to 21 and all the way up to like you know 28s and 29s they might go pretty easy like this on one time you can sometimes spend a dozen or two dozen times of this one little process going just from 34 to 35. So don't get too frustrated when you're trying to reach that 35. It can take a long time. And just but that's why your uh, power up mods that give you all the uh, the extra reverse engineering skill are they last for 30 minutes. So you have plenty of time. So again, plenty of junk, plenty of mods of the uh, of the eluded clothing you can buy or keep or loot yourself and then plenty of a uh, stockpile of um, you know either either make them ahead individually or make them from a factory um, so here you have this item so what I do is when I, when I do the, do those and I make those items I, uh, I just have another area for extra mods put that in there and then I've got some extras to work with and as you can see I'm not kidding you can make 35s here are some 35s I've made myself now if you want to make the 35 uh, first, second, and third. First and second can be kind of easy to come by, but look, because naturally when you have a higher skill, they're going to uh, they're going to just kind of come up like this. And you see, here's a here's seconds, um, here's a first, and there's a third, and there's a third. Okay, so now the trick to actually making a real third order bit, we're going to take you through this process real quick. And again, sometimes it may not work. You need a uh, the mod the power mod you need you need the stat mod just an extra one you don't care about and you also need another piece of just to ensure that you get the third order you need another modded piece of armor or clothing and to best ensure this the mod the armor needs to have three or four pieces on it if you have a higher reverse engineering uh, abilities a a, a double a uh, modded piece will work just fine, but I really prefer to just hold on to all third and fourth. It does not matter if this says all plus twenties or if it's all plus ones. It just matters that it has three, you know, more than uh, one actual different mods on it. So now, what you want to do is you want to put these uh, power and stuff bits in here, and you want to uh, create an attachment, take out another piece of clothing, attach that in there. Then you want to put the piece you made into the tool as well as the uh, multi-stat armor piece you got. And then you want to reverse engineer that. And this will then allow it having enough stats on it to turn into a third order from first or second. You don't have to go from first to second and then from second to third. You can go from first order to third order. The problem is if you don't have enough stat skills and the stats involved in uh, get reaching up to that 35, you could potentially go from a 35 first order down to a 34 third order. So you really want to be careful, make sure you got plenty of stats and you are able to reach that 35 before you even start attempting this. We're going to cut here and I'm going to go into a part two because there's still more we need, we need to talk about.